Hi, I'm Jenny the Juggler, Boston's best and only female professional juggler since like forever. Identify. I'm like a clown, but so much more. Yeah. Oops. You really ready? Almost ready. Okay, good. I got a little, a little brush on the balloons here. Really, the ancient tradition of clowning worldwide and especially in Europe is an honorable noble profession. Is this your plan A or plan B? <laughs> well, I guess plan A because my whole approach to life was seeing where it would lead me. How many years have you been making your living as a clown? Um, since 1997. My career I've gotten paid anywhere from uh, zero to eighteen hundred dollars. Um, you know, most gigs are Closer to the zero range. Fine. It's the sound check song. Everybody, let's sing along. <laughs> no? No? Do you eat fire? Uh, no, but I do um, spit fire and juggle fire. Is that, is that, does that involve putting gasoline in your mouth? Uh, no comment. <laughs> I often juggle feather dusters, soccer balls, and juggling pins, and sometimes rings and Baseballs. No knives. I ha oh, I love, yeah, in my, I have an adult show that you might not even know about. I do not. Uh, it's not adult entertainment, but it's a <laughs> show for adults. And I do a machete and fire and more dangerous tricks for that. <laughs> do you have to be on to perform? Uh, absolutely. That's the job. Help yourself to the chairs. Make yourself comfortable. We're going to watch out up here. This is going to be a whole, like, mosh pit. What kind of kid were you, Jenny? Um, I had a very unusual upbringing, uh, so I was kind of a loner and uh, had a lot of unusual exposures. Did you throw things in the air a lot? Not at all. Did you throw things at all? Not particularly. No, but I did a lot of activities. I wanted to grow up and be a fireman, and then I, it occurred to me that uh, I wouldn't be a man, and I didn't know any firewomen, so that... You um, do wear a lot of red. <laughs> I think I always craved adventure, for sure. Do you ever get tired of children? Um, I rarely, if ever, get tired of other people's children because I really uh, have great command over them because they listen to me because I'm not their mom and I have them for a finite period of time. How would you say the city of Cambridge supports a, a professional performer like yourself? Do they do a good job? An excellent job. I, get, I really do have, I really have had a lot of gigs through the city over the years and the Department of Economic Development has wonderful workshops for small business owners in Cambridge. What brings the tears of a clown? The disconnect with the public at times. So my job is so inc intensely social and demanding and you show up and you transform an event and you're a hero and everybody loves you and then you pack up and you're on the road and you're off to the next event. All right, last call for balloons. Last call for balloons. Sure, yeah, just gently reach in my back, pull out what balloon you'd like. I feel all alone all of a sudden. All right, guys, <laughs> thank you. Can you rattle off very quickly your checklist? Oh, sure. Every time I go out the door? Yeah. Keys, phone, wallet, hanky, face painting, show, balloons, ukulele, bunny, contract, collateral, coffee, other key. 
The technical difference between an amateur and a professional juggler is a professional always has one more joke than they do drops. That's the difference. Thank you, Jen. <laughs>